Hi everyone, welcome to Lapis Compass. Thank you for being here. Today we are doing a reading for Pisces. This is going to be um, a reading for the second half of June. Tell reading to spoil in the messages that we need to know. Please do keep in mind, Pisces, not every message will resonate with every one of you, but your message can come through all the way in the end of the reading. So stick around, let's find out what's going on. Pisces, if you enjoy this kind of uh, videos, please do press the like button and subscribe to the channel for further content. Let's go ahead and see what's going on, Pisces. Pisces, second half of June, pretty current energies. This one right here, imagination is coming through. Someone else in this series for the second half of June also got imagination card. Perseverance also came out as well. Do watch your sun, moon, and rising sign. A lot of times the messages come from there and the messages could be very much connected. And death. That also came out for some other signs. Interesting. Let's go ahead and uh, start clarifying your cards and see what is this all about. Imagine what your future is going to look like. I'm getting that message for a lot of you Pisces. Some of you could be definitely in your uh, thoughts right now, thinking about the future. Possibly because you're moving towards something new. Six of voices moving to the Kama Shores. You are definitely thinking about the future at this time. A lot of thoughts about the future. Look at this. Two of inspiration. Again, thoughts about the future. Thinking about what's ahead. Some of you are almost creating your future in your mind here look at this how interesting i'm getting the energy of uh, thinking about the future a lot of thoughts about the future thinking about moving away some of you is thoughts about relocation some of you is thoughts about just moving to a different circumstances here changing your life circumstances here and and imagining what the life would be when everything falls in place which it was three you go from two of inspiration thinking and dreaming about it to the situation to the circumstances that where everything falls into um, its place and you are exactly in the place that you imagined that's what i'm getting for you but the night of voices there could be some news coming in here that allow you to move forward they allow you to move away they allow you to move to the calmer shores i'm getting some good news some positive news for you and and whatever you imagine in here you bring in into your 3d life things are falling into place just the way you imagine them how interested in that okay Pisces let's go ahead and find out what is this perseverance all about for you perseverance what are you working on look at this new journey these are your cards right here I'm getting energy of Aries here for some of you. Some of you are definitely dealing with the Aries. But I'm also getting an energy of a new beginning. You, you are very persistent on starting something new. It feels like you know exactly where you're going. Although Fool doesn't often know where they go. The Fool is a new beginning, a new journey that doesn't, that doesn't really tell you what the future holds and you're taking that risk, that leap of faith and you go for it. What I'm getting for you is that you know exactly the direction you want to go into. How interesting. Nine of inspiration. Oh, yes. Nine of inspiration is that independent, confident energy, that energy of perseverance paying off, that energy of working for something and having a very specific goal in your mind. And that's what I'm getting for you, Pisces. For a lot of you, this is a goal of expansion, travel, moving somewhere else, starting a new journey here. And this is what your happiness is. This is uh, your success. Your success comes from perseverance. You're handling a lot of things here. You will be very busy in the second half of June. You're working on different projects. You're bringing a lot of different pieces, puzzle pieces together here. And that's where your success is. I'm getting very strong energy of success here. Very strong energy of success at work, in your business, in your whatever you do for work. I get an energy of expansion here. For some of you, there's business travel, a lot of work, very, very busy, perseverant, not giving up. 
and very strong willpower to reach your goals. That's what I'm getting for you here. Interesting. You know exactly what you're working for and you know exactly what path you want to take. Let's go ahead and clarify this death card. What is that all about? I'm learning that endings are merely beginnings. Look at that. Endings are beginnings. You're going towards that happiness, that those fireworks, that recognition. I'm getting recognition for some of you, Pisces. Oh, yeah. Wish fulfillment. Nice. Hmm. Something is ending in your life and there is absolutely new beginnings. I'm getting a new beginning, a new path, a new road, a new trip that you're taking here. And definitely a new road that is leading to that success. And for a lot of you, I'm getting this energy of recognition here. This could be that star, that recognition as well, um, that you becoming a star quite literally here. For a lot of you, this is going towards your success. Some of you are becoming very much popular in whatever area of life in whatever you know on whatever level it is for you it could be in your community it could be worldwide here but this is your energy night of emotions this is a, a water sign this is you pisces and i'm getting you getting into that success something is ending here for you to be able to become successful to become recognized to become that star that you're truly supposed to be and your money is growing i'm getting very strong energy of your money is being uh, is growing here with time pages page a special page of materials is not a fast growth it's a stable growth here and temperance is patience be patient be patient the star is being born here that's exactly the energy i'm getting wow okay all right let's go ahead and move this out of the way Pisces, let's go ahead and pull some keeper cards for you and see what else we need to know for the second half of june wow we have a child energy for some of you there is a new child coming into the family either your child or in your family there is a new child coming in i'm getting that very strongly in summer months here there's news of a child coming into a family but that's just for a small portion of you wow okay a lot of legal um matters came out in this uh, second half of june for many signs what i'm getting for you is uh, there is definitely some sort of legal battle over a child could be with a, a masculine figure could be a really a male figure here it doesn't have to be but somebody who's very much in controlling masculine um, energy right now i'm getting the energy of uh, some sort of legal battle over custody of a child this could be a legal battle over an um, alimony somebody was in pain alimony is here i'm getting that energy too legal proceedings that do involve a child yeah i'm getting the child energy the child could be a sagittarius the child could be um the child could be um i'm getting sagittarius the strongest there is a cancer involved here, but I'm getting Sagittarius the, the strongest. What I'm getting here is that uh, there is some information coming through um, that kind of moves this uh, illegal matters further. Like there is some more information coming in. Uh, there could be definitely some uh, uh, resolutions, but I'm not necessarily getting a final resolution here. I'm getting like this uh, midway kind of resolutions, if that makes sense. Like, you know, something is being decided, but there is no final decision yet. That's what I'm getting here. It feels to me like the final decision is still unknown. The final decision is still hidden. You're still not sure what the outcome will be in this um, second half of June. I am getting the energy of the luck is turning in your favor. And like I said, there is like this, it's almost like a small gains on the way, you know, like as you go through the legal proceedings, there is like the small wins. There is, I'm getting the small wins on the way that eventually will lead to the positive outcome. But I feel like the, the final decision is not going to be taken yet in the second half of June. Six of Cups is talking about childhood, is talking about the childhood memories here. I'm getting a lot of uh, good memories with this child. I'm getting that kind of energy. I am getting the energy of you being able to spend time with this child. If you are somehow separated at this point, I am getting the energy of you being able to spend time with this child more than you had in the past. 
But again, like I said, the final outcome, the final decision is yet to come. That's what I see. Interesting. All right, Pisces, let's go ahead and pull um, from origi original tarot deck and just see what other messages need to come through, what else we have not covered so far, or if there's any confirmations, anything else that needs to come up for Pisces for the second half of June. Look at that, we have two of cups jumping out for you, Pisces. <laughs> With two of wands, two and two. This now. Page of Wands. Three of Pentacles. Knight of Swords. That Knight of Swords has come up for you several times. I feel like somebody is literally rushing towards you with some news. Or somebody could be delivering news from you to somebody else. I'm getting that energy very strongly too. There is an energy of a divine union, but I feel like there could be some sort of separation here. It's like as if you are far away from each other, as if there is a huge distance between you two right now. You are connected to this person. This is not like somebody you don't know. I feel like this is your partner here, but it feels to me like they're away from you. They're kind of far away from you. There could be um, a work situation where they had to uh, go f further away. Um, there could be in a situation where they're working on their career and they had to physically relocate somewhere else or they had to relocate for like a period of time, not, not, not permanently, to a different uh, team, work with a different team in a different physical location. And I'm getting messages in between you two. I'm getting a lot of communication between you two. I feel like you're discussing the situation here and there's a lot of energy of missing each other. That's what I'm getting here. A lot of communication, a lot of communication coming from your side to them and their side to you. I'm getting a lot of messages here. Um, and uh, a lot of feelings are being uh, um, amplified and also a lot of feelings are being um, discussed here. That's what I'm getting. I'm talking, I'm getting a lot of discussions about your feelings, about how you want to be together, how you want to build together in the future. That's what's coming up here, Pisces. You could be connected to a fire sign. This person could be even a little younger than you, doesn't have to be, but I'm getting an energy of being connected to somebody who is uh, very much career focused, but now you see um, the side of them where they actually are quite sensitive and they have a lot of feelings for you. I feel like that side of them will be exposed a little bit more in the second half of June. The distance feels like it makes you um, grow fonder of each other. <laughs> Oh, I feel like the feelings were always there, but the feelings are being discussed a little bit more this time. This is what I see. These are the messages that are coming through today, Pisces. I hope this reading was helpful. Thank you so much for spending your time with me, and I do hope to talk to you soon. Bye for now.